So hi everybody. Um, th this video has been a long time coming. Um, the installation of the um, turntable. Um, I've been spending the past few weeks upgrading all my coaches, or most of my coaches, with lights and people um, sitting in the in the coaches. Uh, but no, those LED strip lights I showed you in a previous video with the um, uh, latching reed switches. Uh, some of the coaches I use pickups, um, which bridge with bridge rectifiers, um, rather than using a reed switch, so you get the power from the track. Um, yeah, so I've incorporated um, bridge rectifiers and capacitors um, so when you go over um, poor connections, dirty track and so on uh, they don't flicker but the other ones be, uh, with the latching reed switches because they've got their own 3 volt power supply um, they obviously don't need to worry about uh, dirty tracks points and so on um, because they get the power from the 3 volts what I have discovered as well is a 3 volt uh, power supply powers 5 volt LED strips um, as equally as well as the 3 volt uh, LED strips. Um, the 3 volts for some unknown reason on eBay are hard to find. 5 volts, there's lots of them. Um, so yeah, the turntable. What I've found, uh, I'll show you the paperwork uh, in a minute. Um, there's a couple of uh, little things if you're thinking about one of these Pico turntables that uh, you might need to be aware of if you're combining it with a Pico motor. Um, so what my intentions are is to come off here, off one of the main lines, um, then obviously go into the turntable and I'm thinking of those three uh, exit points to store trains. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think uh, three is too much? Does it need more? What I'm going to do over there is, is to put a building, um, like a little office sort of thing, um, for people who control the turntable. Um, on the turntable you can see I've put um, gravel. I was trying to think of ways to make this turntable look a bit more realistic. Um, some have painted the turntable um, but I thought so the gravel um, is a better op option. This is the medium gravel uh, which fits underneath the turntable as it goes round quite easily. It doesn't foul or anything. And I've also downloaded brick paper, printed it out and um, we can see around goes around the edge. What I want to do with that is to weather it a little bit, um, get some um, crayons and scrape the dust uh, off the crayons, the, the powder, and then rub it in, just, just literally rub it in um, to make it look dirty. Um, not too sure whether I want to do anything with the turntable itself or underneath, but it looks like a girder, I think. I might leave them as they are. Um, this is the control by the way, turn the way up, for the turntable. What I'll do, the, the turntable's not fixed in. Um, I'll show you that in a minute, the underneath. Um, now I'll just show you this, this, uh, how easy this is and very easy to install. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you a couple of things that I would not have bought uh, with hindsight. But I'll show you that in a minute. So if I show the turntable going, you just literally press and the motor is extremely quiet. You can hardly hear it. Whereas some of the other motors that goes with these turntables um, are very, very loud. So as you can hear, it's extremely quiet. I'm very pleased with it. So what I'll do now is I'll stop this. I'll uh, show you the paperwork and a couple of issues, if you want to call them issues, um, when assembling one of these. So I'll be back in a second. 
a high gain. Um, the paperwork that comes with the um, turntable is very comprehensive and very easy to follow. Um, the instructions that comes with the motor uh, is just a small little pamphlet type thing. But what it does say in the pamphlet, make sure that the turntable is fully um, put together other than the uh, handrails because you have to work turn the table over, turn the table over to install the motor and you damage the handrails so for obvious reasons it says um, not to, 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 to glue them in situ um, but it does say make sure it's complete however I found if you look there there are two washers that you install. I think one, uh, when you push it through, um, um, the, um, I don't know what you call a pin that goes through, um, which goes underneath here. Get my finger there. You then have a second washer you, you put on. You can just see the second washer. However, if you do that, you then can't really fit. Um, where is it gone? I'm getting shot. Oh, there. That grommet there, which the motor slots into, now that fits underneath the turntable there. But if the second washer is there, you can't fit that. So I had to remove, fortunately, the. Uh, I used. Um, um, what can we call it? Plastic weld. Um, to put this together, which is what it advises to use, and I have to say it was brilliant. Um, but I just managed to get that washer off, and that fitted uh, really nicely. And then I was able to fit the motor. And again, the motor is extremely easy to fit. Um, all you literally do is put three of those feet together, and again, using plastic weld. Um, glue it, obviously glue it to the bottom of the uh, turntable and it's extremely solid. Um, the two connections, um, obviously one for the controller and one for the 12 volt power supply. Now what I didn't realise, um, because I didn't have this obviously, um, when I was buying it I also bought the Gage Master power supply. And it's quite expensive, uh, one of these Gage Master Power Supplies. And the reason I bought it is because I thought you needed this, which came with it. Which is designed, it says, to go with that motor. Now what I discovered when I took all these out of the box, that came with the turntable motor and plus into there. So all I needed to have bought is a, a normal 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. Can I get that in shot? Any 12 volt, 2 amp power supply. Cut the plug off and just screw these wires into there. So I didn't need this plug. Because um, those 12 volt power supplies can be picked up far cheaper than <laughs> I think it's 20 something pounds plus delivery for that. Unbelievable. Um, getting back to the power, the, I'm also, oh no, I'll show you that in a minute. I also um, was looking at this. Let's get it right way up. Now I've got some information from Pico about handling polarity. Um, if you put a train onto there and then turned it 160 degree, 360 degrees, how did it handle polarity? And they said um, that point there, it's got gaps. Um, when the turntable goes round, it switches the polarity as long as you wire it up correctly. Now what they're saying is we can get that lead, track coming out, plus or minus. And the next one is minus plus, and so on. Now it changes as you go around, a plus and minus. Um, I'll follow some of that, but for the main feed 
into the um, turntable from um, my track. Um, I've purchased this just to make sure and this is Auto Reverser designed for turntables so from that company there which are very good um, bought several items from them um, so I purchased that so it will handle polarity from the main feed into the uh, turntable <clears throat> um, so my plans now are obviously I've got to put that back in a hole and fix it in place um, I will um, because you've got to have the gap the sort of right angle to your main feed that comes into the turntable uh, that's the main feed, the main track into the turntable so I'll do that and then the other tracks I've got coming out I will follow what Pico said about plus and minus, minus plus, that sort of thing um, and once I've done that um, I'll decide when I'm going to fix, fit that in place because um, that's a nice tight fit that hole what I, what I found is it says about using this as a template um, to cut the hole um, what I found obviously before when I put this together which is in three sections before I did anything else I brought it up here put it where I wanted it and just drew around it around this um, base part I shouldn't just call it base part whatever it's called anyway I uh, drew around that and the hole was perfect nice snug fit um, so yeah my plans are now to put it in place based on what Pico says in the instructions fit the uh, auto reverser this will be screwed to the side somewhere along here and uh, I probably will cut this off and uh, screw it straight into the green plug and then straight into the motor as you heard before that motor is extremely quiet very nice um, I can't remember the cost of these by the way um, I think the whole thing turntable motor and power supply was about hundred pounds um, for all three items um, I think the auto reverser was about 20 I think um, yeah so I think the whole thing cost me about 120 pounds um, but I'm very pleased with it so what I'll do now is put it in place as I've mentioned then I'm going to clip all the track together which at the moment is unclipped put it all together and uh, install the dropper wires by the way this system I was implementing um, I found a better one much much better idea so I'm going to do away with them I'll probably be able to use them somewhere on the track on my layout rather um, but when I get the other items that I'm going to replace these with I'll show you them much better than these um, much easier to install and you do other things as well other than just connect the wires to them and I'll show you that and, uh, when they arrive yeah so once I've uh, installed all the dropper wires um, I then have to install the point motors which again are Pico twist lock point motors and I'll show you them um, and I won't be wiring those in just yet because I want to install once I've done a bus wire I then want to install the accessory um, bus wire and um, that's only going to be for the track um, and once I've done that I'll then wire all the dropper wires into the replacement of those <clears throat> and once I've done that I'll have to do a lot of testing um, and once I've done a lot of testing and I'm happy with the track um, I'll fix it down uh, I've decided uh, after asking people for advice to use copy decks to fix the track in place um, I bought some weights as well to weight it down and I'll show you each section um, when I get to each part of the layout I'll show you what I've done um, but that's it um, 
hopefully this wasn't too long. Um, thanks very much for your time. Meet you again soon.